All right, right, welcome back everybody to YouTube channel BTC TV and we continue to do videos about different crypto projects about blockchain companies in this space. Today I'm happy to present you a special video interview with a company with the name is Axion Network. And right now on the line with me is one of the team member uh, named Joel. Joel, thanks for coming to our TV show. Hey, thanks and, so much for having me. Yes. And uh, so my first question will be instantly like, can you briefly explain what is this Axion Network is all about and what you guys you are doing? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Axion was launched in November of 2020, um, and it is a it is primarily a staking token. Um, this is the second ever CD uh, following in the likes of Hex. Uh, and what Axion is is it's it's taken the CD model and it's really uh, grown it exponentially in terms of creating not just a token where you stake your you stake your Axion tokens and then you lock it away for a specific period of time, earn interest on it, and then you withdraw those tokens when your term's over. Rather, what we've done is we've created a staking ecosystem, which is where there's huge benefits that open up to you when you stake. Um, one of our claims to fame is that we have Bitcoin dividends. That's really great so mm -hmm. that uh, people can earn passive income off of their investment without having to, to touch their principal. Um, and those big liquid Bitcoin dividends uh, can be withdrawn at any time. You can use them to reinvest. You can use them to spend on other tokens. You can withdraw them to fiat, all that sort of stuff. Um, and there's no minimum term or amount for those Bitcoin dividends. So anybody can stake at any time and, and be earning that passive of income. Uh, but then we also open up a huge ecosystem to our stakers through our staking portal. Uh, we have an uh, exclusive token launch pad um, because we are a, a project that primarily favors long-term crypto believers, people who are willing to lock away their tokens. That's a huge market for other tokens to want to launch with our audience. So tokens come to us and say, hey, you've got a lot of mm -hmm. great people involved mm -hmm. in your project. We'd love to do airdrops and pre-sales and IDOs and those things with you guys. And we make those available to our stakers of, of one year and over. Uh, we have a built-in launch uh, sorry, talking about launch. We have a built-in um, voting platform, so people with verified stakes can mm -hmm. vote on to, uh, important tokenomic changes to the project. Which means that you know the people who believe in the project are going to help be able to influence its change, uh, primarily because they are um, able to, uh, or they verify that they've they've staked and that their tokens are locked up. And those are the kinds of people who should be voting on policy, not the people who be swing trading or holding liquid that sort of stuff. Um, and finally, one of the most exciting things that we're doing is is we moved to Polygon, mm -hmm. uh, which we were an Ethereum-based token. That was mm -hmm. a, a big deal for us, being on Ethereum launching there. Um, but then over time, a lot of those fees became incredibly restrictive for people to be able to bid or stake or uh, buy into our accelerator, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and so what, what we did is we migrated to Polygon. Uh, and now on Ethereum, our token accelerator, uh, which is, we can talk about that in a minute, uh, mm -hmm. but that is, uh, you know, it's costing people on a good day, eighty to a hundred dollars to 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 buy into the accelerator, up to on bad days three or four hundred dollars to buy in the accelerator. And now at the highest levels of Gwei on Polygon, it costs people less than two pennies. Excellent. Uh, so Excellent. it's yep. incredibly cheap, which which now has opened us up for the possibilities of of adding in incredible features and upgrades to our token. Um, we can talk a little bit about kind of what makes Axion unique in terms of our uh, yep. the token utility. Um, but but Polygon is really opened up that opportunity for us Excellent. Uh, so yeah there's kind of a brief overview yeah <laughs> sorry if that was too quick no no it's fine it's fine i i like when people are passionate about the project so and uh, yeah uh, i like brief when i first time uh, saw your website like uh, i saw like uh, one big button what is this accelerator uh, so can you like explain uh, I'm right now on your website uh, at Accelerator section. So what is Action Accelerator is all about? Can you explain this one part? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let me just preface this by by talking mm -hmm. real quick about the um, the the tokenomics and the long term mm -hmm. viability of Axion. Um, so I'm just looking here at the front page of our website. But mm -hmm. one of the one of the things that makes Axion special is that 71 percent of our total supply right now is is staked, mm -hmm. um, and then 41 percent of that is staked for 15 years. Wow. Uh, so that means 41% of the available supply of our token will not hit the market for another 15 years, which is crazy. Um, most projects, you know, don't have anywhere near that level of staking power. Um, and that's people believe in the long-term viability of, mm -hmm. of Axion. Well, how does that relate to the accelerator? Well, what the accelerator does is the accelerator is our economic engine um, where it allows people to, to do the first thing. No other staking platform has mm -hmm. this where you can buy Axion and stake it in one transaction. 
uh, which is great. Uh, you don't have to buy it off of um, you know a, a decentralized exchange uh, mm -hmm. and then bring it to our staking portal, but actually you can come in with any token that's accepted in the accelerator, choose how long you want to, to um, mm -hmm. stake it, and then it automatically buys and stakes for you. The cool thing that's happening behind the scenes of the accelerator is that the accelerator is um, go ahead and it, it breaks up that that incoming uh, those incoming tokens. Uh, it uses a percentage of it to buy uh, rat Bitcoin off of the market um, and then distribute it uh, proportionally to the stakers through the smart contract. Uh, but then the other part of it is that we have deflationary measures built in. Uh, so it takes um, another percentage of the incoming uh, token and it buys. Uh, Axion off the open market, which is great, creates positive buy pressure, and then it takes it and it locks it away. That's our deflationary mechanic. Um, it, it's you know it's it's basically a burn, right? And people talk about token burning. This is what it is. Except for us, uh, we lock those tokens away. They're gone. They're never going to come back into the to the available supply. Um, and it, it's great because it creates that positive buy pressure, and it also pro allows for deflationary measures, all in the same thing. Um, and then 15% of that of the incoming token percentage uh, is set aside for the Axion project, uh, which means that we as a company, um, instead of, you know, when tokens get minted, people create a huge uh, dev wallet, right? And then over time, they just sell portions of their wallet into, you know, Ethereum or something like that. And that's how they fund their project by selling on their on the people who come in. The cool thing is we don't have to do that. We're actually working on being sustainable as a company uh, to allow us to pay for our server fees, to pay for our support network, to pay for uh, members, of, you know, the, the staff on board without us having to affect you know, the price, right? Um, and, and the reason why these things are important, the reason why we have the deflationary measure, the reason why we're, we're working to generate um, additional business models um, is primarily because we have that 41, over 41% 41 mm -hmm. staked for 15 years. That's we wanna be a token that yeah. lasts. Right, um, so many of these staking tokens just just overinflate. Right, they just mint and mint and mm -hmm. mint, um, and there's nothing really that's working to control um, some of the some of those minting tendencies. And for us, we're like, you know, we want it, we're in this for the long haul, um, and, okay. and that's really kind of what makes Axion unique is that yeah. is that um, we're working to be a sustainable project. Okay, and, and we already have. So, you can see our burn mechanics, and it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Thanks for explaining this. This is a really incredible one because really, honestly, I haven't seen any another project which allows to stake for 15 years right this is like incredible and that is why another question is coming okay let's say i'm like regular crypto small investor like and i want to participate in your projects so what will be steps for me to participate this is first question the second one will be how safe it is right because like okay you have opportunity uh, to stake for, for uh, 15 years but how safe it is for me for for regular uh, investor Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, let's talk about that. Um, so if somebody wants to get started, um, we we have done everything we possibly can for um, the crypto newcomers. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a project where we're trying to be as friendly as possible to mm -hmm. people who have either never heard of crypto before yeah. or aren't the sort of people who are very familiar with it. Um, I'll talk about that in a second, why that's important for us. Um, but basically, you can go to our website, axion.network, and um, then on the top, there's a how to buy, mm -hmm. um, and it shows uh, people how to get started, mm -hmm. um, how they can um, buy uh, Axion tokens off of SushiSwap on Polygon if mm -hmm. they want, um, or they can come straight to the accelerator. The cool thing is that uh, we have a top-notch design team in our staking portal. If you go to stake.axion.network, Work, or click on that little blue button that says Axion Portal on our website. Mm -hmm. um, it takes you to the staking platform, and the staking platform automatically helps people with MetaMask wallets or mm -hmm. any of the other 70 okay. plus wallets we support to switch over to Polygon. Um, and then it allows you through the accelerator to, to bid straight in using your things. We have a built-in Polygon bridge, which is the official Polygon bridge um, given to us by the Polygon team. So if you do have assets on Ethereum, um, you can send them over. It takes anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes to mm -hmm. send over those approved tokens to the Polygon network. Um, and then you can invest straight into the accelerator or you can buy on sushi swap whichever whichever okay. um, kind of strategy you want to do um and then yeah talking about safety uh, the cool thing is on our website if you look axion has been audited four times okay. um, by top some of the top um auditing companies out there um i'm just looking at over here on the website um we've been the most recent one that we just had done it literally finished uh two right before we moved to polygon which is two weeks ago i mm -hmm. uh, was done by halborn 
which is the top auditing crypt, crypto auditing company. Uh, we've also been audited by um, Hacken, mm -hmm. uh, Certic, and Solidity. Um, so we've had four audits throughout the course, course of the token project, mm -hmm. um, and all of them have passed with flying colors. Um, and so in terms of like the security of your investment, um, we know that uh, the Axion contracts, the smart contract ecosystem, everything that we've built uh, has been verified independently four times and, uh, and done really well. So then, you know, talking about, of course, like why would somebody want to stake 15 years, mm -hmm. right? Um, which is crazy. You know, that, that's a crazy amount for anybody. Um, you know, we, we do have a, a tokenomic model where we have that fixed uh, APR. Um, that's just built into our tokenomic, our, our inflationary models, that 8%. And then it's up to uh, 47%, um, depending on if you if you do a max stake. Uh, so what that means is people have decided, okay, I'm looking for that that steady, regular growth. This isn't a fluctuating uh, APR. Some projects, you know, uh, you've seen it out there with these crypto projects. They're offering hundreds or thousands of percentage mm -hmm. in, in uh, APR, APY. And that just disappears after a couple months, right? Um, and so for us, having that that steady inflation helps us um, with our deflationary models to ensure that the value is going to, um, the, the 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 you know the consistency of the value is is there. Um, but then also uh, with the daily Bitcoin dividends. Um, what that means is that people are able to um, be adding those dividends to their ROI. Mm -hmm. uh, so even so, people who have been had their um, their actually on stake for for longer periods of time are able to earn those Bitcoin dividends that they can either take and reinvest or do whatever they want with them. Um, we don't we don't restrict anybody okay. from withdrawing. You can withdraw as little as you want, um, and that helps people be able to feel confident that as the as the project continues as the accelerator continue function and then we I, I do want to talk about our nft ecosystem because that's really important as well um that uh that basically allows people to get that roi back in addition to like that that base um apr nice. um so when you stake max uh you get the biggest bonus mm -hmm. you get the biggest percentage of the share pool and then from that share pool determines how much uh, Bitcoin dividends you get. Mm -hmm. So the higher your shares, the larger percentage of the pool you own, the greater the Bitcoin dividends that are assigned to you um, through the accelerator. So a lot of people have chosen, yeah, we want to do that. We've um, we've had some whales in our um, in our project take their five to ten billion Axion that they got way back in the beginning and lock it away for 15 years, um, which is crazy. You know, to have to have such a, a community belief yes. is is very rare in crypto. So. Excellent. We're, we're really lucky. <laughs> Excellent. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Uh, thanks for answer about that one. Uh, yeah. Uh, on your website also you have section about launchpad, right? So let's talk about this launchpad section. What is this about? Like, uh, can you briefly explain? Yeah, so this is one of the, um, again, it's one of the, the, the reasons why we're calling ourselves a staking ecosystem, um, because Axion Launch is one of those aspects of the ecosystem um, that allows us to bring value to people who choose to stake, right? We don't want to just say, hey, stake your tokens and come back in a year and hope you, you know, that we want to offer all kinds of opportunities to people while they stake. Um, one of those is, is Axion Launch. So Axion Launch is, is a token launch pad um, that uh, allows us to take our long-term staking community. Uh, we have twenty. We have over 20,000 wallets um, who hold Axion or have Axion staked. And of that, we have almost 6,000 individual wallets who have staked max 15 years. Uh, and so what that means is that as a project, as I mentioned earlier, we have a huge community of people who are crazy enough to stake their tokens for a long period of time. That shows that they're looking for long-term rewards, right? And long-term growth. That type of audience is a dream audience for any Absolutely. new project, right? Any new project doesn't want people yeah. who are going to get an airdrop yeah. or get a quick IDO and then sell after mm -hmm. their vesting ends and then be done with it, right? Um, and so what that means is that we can offer our community two new token launches um, and say, hey, we've got this incredibly dedicated community. These are the kinds of people that you want. Um, work with us to give the Axion community special discounts, uh, special airdrops, um, things that are going to be beneficial because you know you're going to get a good ROI mm -hmm. from our community and vice versa. Uh, and so what we did, if you go to the, the Axion launch site, mm -hmm. um, we the, the four of our four of our biggest launches were Vabel, Direwolf, Securitas, and Sleepy Sloth. Um, Vabel and Securitan specifically were really, really good launches for us. Um, primarily, especially the Vabel one, you can see that a $1.25 million allocation, or sorry, $2.25 million allocation mm -hmm. for Axion. And then they had an $84,000 airdrop. The amazing thing is that when for the community who who um, applied for the airdrop and got in, um, those tokens, uh, they... Uh, 
with it, I, when they first were distributed and then like three months later they're all worth now over five grand wow. in, in value yeah which is crazy and this is for each each wallet right and so the amount of value that we're providing for our staking community is is amazing. incredible and um and and the other cool thing is that built in and this is kind of for our launch partners um axion actually built a vesting engine into our system which allows for a launch partner to send us uh, the total amount of tokens they want to be distributed and then they tell us okay you know here's the the vesting series that we want we mm -hmm. want people to get access to these tokens every 30 days mm -hmm. at this percentage or whatever and then we automatically distribute it to our community according to the vesting schedule so that our launch partners don't have to remember yeah. to be sending out okay. tokens and all that sort of stuff we kind of handle that all and it's through our staking portal so if you come in you qualify you go to the staking portal there is your vested tokens ready for you to withdraw at any time so it's a it's a huge um thing that we offer to our community and to launch partners excellent I really uh, more i hear information from you i also like more and more your uh, project and that is why my next question will be tell can you tell us about your team right behind of this project like uh, who are the people what they're doing like for how long some something like that mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So um, if uh, I'll kind of also plug our roadmap, like on our website, our roadmap is is a year's worth of development. Um, mm -hmm. and you can see all of the, 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 the project there. And the reason why um, this this project A has been around for longer than a year um, and November will actually be our one year birthday of our launch. Um, but it the entire Axion team, as in our moderators, our developers, um, the marketing team, the core contributor team, all of us came from Axion. Um, in fact, there wasn't a, this didn't start off with a bunch of founders and a bunch of seed money and like a pre-existing development team and all that sort of stuff. Actually, this came out as a community, a community project. Um, so the way we describe it is that Axion is team-led, community-driven. Uh, so the team itself, comprising of our strategy team, our marketing team, um, the moderator team, the Axion Advisory Council, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, all of these people are representing the community as they work because all of us started out as investors. Um, Axion was actually my first crypto. I'd heard of all these other crypto projects. I heard about Axion. I was like, this is amazing. I invested myself and then I max stake. So my tokens are locked away for, for 15 years. <laughs> and then there, became, there came an opportunity to work for Axiom part-time, and now I actually work for Axiom full-time, and I consider myself incredibly Excellent. lucky um, to be able to work in crypto like full-time. This is, this is a huge opportunity. Um, so, so what and – I, and I am not the rare case. Um, everybody on the team started out hearing about this project, believing in this project, volunteering, wanting to make it work, um, wanting to help it survive the, the storms and the dips and the, the trouble and the problems, all that sort of stuff, and come out kind of stronger. So um, in terms of, like, the, the team, um, we have an international team running as a part of our core contributor team. Uh, we have people from Canada and Europe. Uh, we have people from England. Um, we have Americans. And we also have uh, – an amazing Singaporean uh, who is awesome. He's such a great guy. Um, but then our the rest of our team is literally all over the world. Um, and and that's been one of the coolest things. Very difficult for timing interviews mm -hmm. or meetings. But really cool is that um, we have uh, on our website, I was going to talk about this earlier, but on our website, um, if you go to any page on our website, our staking portal, you'll see in the bottom corner a little blue help icon. Mm -hmm. um, and if you click on it, it opens up the ability to do a chat you can start a chat and we have a 24 seven support team um, of people who are on our staff um, and they are there to help anybody at any time with any question, even if it's a basic crypto question. Nice. Um, and the, what this means is that we're trying to make it as easy as possible for uh, people to come in and have their questions answered and not get stuck. Um, that also means that people have to be available on, on intercom, the platform we use to, to answer questions. Um, so our staff and our team, I, I myself, I'm answering questions on intercom i'm helping out in crypto newbies or people who are experienced and that's important to us because all of us started as investors all of us like came in and had no idea how to navigate the crazy world of crypto and we want to offer that support to people coming in we don't charge for those fees that's just that's just how axion has, has dedicated itself to being there for the community um 
And then, yeah, our, our lead developer, uh, his name is T. Deli. Um, he is amazing. There's a team of solid developers. We have two world-class mathematicians. If you actually go to our white paper, which is in the process of being updated because of our move to my, uh, Polygon and the new tokenomics that Polygon allows. Um, so the white paper is a little bit old. Um, but if you go to the white paper and scroll down about halfway through, uh, you'll, or not even halfway through, like page, what is this, page 12 and on, you'll see actual calculus um, and economic simulations done by our ec economists and our mathematicians um, to specifically showcase here's economic model, here's the simulations, here's the actual math behind the, the smart mm -hmm. contracts. So math nerds can really dive into that and love it. I don't understand math whatsoever. Um, but, you know, that's just that transparency of, of here's how the project works. And then there's a literally like 13, 30 pages full of economic simulations for people to check out. Um, and, and that's done by by the math team, by the two mathematicians on Excellent. board. Um, so, you know, it is it is a world-class team. I'll say one more thing. Um, the uh, One of the things that we launched that we're really excited about, uh, we have what's called the Axion Advisory Council. Um, and what we did specifically is we found um, industry leaders and people in their fields um, from all over the world to come on board as advisors to give their input, their feedback, and their direction on Axion as a project, areas that we can start to target. Um, kind of built into our um, team, we've got a US um, rugby Olympian. Uh, she was just in the, uh, the, uh, the uh, ja just in Japan at the Olympics. Um, we've got a, a AAA production studio business director uh, who's on our team. Uh, we've got a, a small business owner in India. Uh, we've got a guy, a consultant from Africa. Uh, we've got people from the US and Canada. We've got a Harvard college graduate. All these different people represent a, a diverse group of, of people who've come to Axion who want to see this project thrive. And they actually are helping guide the team as independent advisors um, representing the community, providing oversight. And it's really cool to have them look at the project from entirely different backgrounds. Like the Olympian, she's looking at like, how can we create a program for athletes, right? How can, how can they invest? A Harvard graduate student, like how can we reach out to college or graduate students and, and help them find, you know, get in, in on, on crypto or um, like looking at India, right? How, especially with Polygon, how can we grow our market share in India because now with pennies or sub pennies, hundreds of a penny in fees, this opens up opportunities for developing countries. Not that India is a developing country, but you know, like Africa would be mm -hmm. a good example. How can we start to, to reach in those areas? So as far as it's like a team and the amount of input we're receiving and our dedication to being a um, really a, a solid economics, ethically driven, um, diverse background, you know, all that sort of stuff. And Cool. I feel really cool. lucky to get part of cool. it. Cool. Uh, Sorry, thanks. I so much. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but we are still limited on the time, uh, yeah, yeah. right? Thank you. Sorry and uh, that is why actually uh, my, my, my last will be the question, like where do you see your project in one year and maybe in five years? I understand that like we can uh, stake for 15 years, but this is a really very long period of time to think about this one. Right? But in one year, for example, and in five years, where do you see uh, your company? Yeah, so um, right on the horizon for us um, within, I would say, this this year mark is uh, NFT shares. Um, so we're the first project ever to take people's share data and mint them as NFTs. Um, we actually have a really cool, unique galaxy generator that will take the input of your stake data that is specific to your stake, how long it is, all, the amount, all that sort of stuff. And it uses that to drive this procedural galaxy. It's really cool. Um, but what that means is that in the future, we will open up what's when the when the tokenomics allow, when the when Axion is mature enough to support it. Um, we're going to be opening up an NFT store, uh, sorry, NFT stake marketplace. Um, and this is where people will be able to take their stakes uh, with maybe some of the most valuable early access, you know, the sort of the biggest um, dividend pools, and they'll be able to sell them just like people sell NFTs. And then the new owner of that NFT will be able to inherit that stake, uh, to be able to get paid the Bitcoin dividends going forward. Um, and then also the, the selling of those NFTs will also be able to generate um, deflationary models, revenue for the company, all of that sort of stuff. Um, so that's really unique for us. Um, it will allow um, the stakes themselves 
the the actual nfts that will have unique art but the nfts have value value in the future and value in the present with the bitcoin dividends and that's going to be no other staking project is doing this um but it's going to be huge for us to allow that that marketplace to start to grow and to blossom so that's that's very important for us in our um you know in our year-long uh, map um and then you know talking about five years down the road um one of the oh and also mentioned for the year-long map um we have we're looking at partnerships with actual real good companies um so being able to offer stakers discounts on real wood good real world goods um other opportunities things that are exclusive to people maybe who've staked like let's say you're you've staked your tokens five years and up well then you can get a discount on you know whatever the product is something like that um and so having a marketplace of of real value mm -hmm. to people who have staked and giving them real opportunities, not just with token launches, but actual goods and services um, can is, is going to be huge for us as a community. And that's in the, in the pipeline as well. Um, talking about the five-year goal, um, really Axion being a community-driven token um, with an incredible developer foundation. We want to be a token incubator and a business incubator. That's really important for us uh, is to be able to take the community and the ideas from within the community or other projects who bring ideas to Axion and open up the the developing the, the sorry open up our developer team um, we actually already have a couple projects right now that are being built on the foundations of axion and we're calling it being powered by axion um, because it is we're, we're taking some of these incredible ideas in the crypto world or even things that come outside of the crypto world but can be based on blockchain technology and allowing axion and the community and the company itself to, to fund and develop these projects as a part of a growing ecosystem um, we're also looking at uh, different business revenue models um, ways that we can offer additional value to our stakers um, and this could be i mean again these are not guaranteed but it could be lending it could be insurance um, it could be um, new as i mentioned like the, the incubator or the launch platforms um, but it also could be um, real world goods um, or real world investment opportunities things like that um, and, and doing it from a diverse kind of global background you know a team that, that people can get in and, and support um, and so for us, really, it, it is all about just growing. Uh, of course, every crypto project wants to grow and, and expand their market awesome. share. Um, but for us, it's specifically about growing things that take this long-term belief and use it as a solid foundation. Because our community is unlike any any other crypto community in terms of their long-term belief. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot for your time, uh, Joel, uh, regarding uh your project axion network really interesting project uh me personally i've been in this crypto space for a very long time uh, i don't i haven't seen such project where you can stay really for 15 years um i i like to see that your team is so driven and motivated uh with your community which also believe in your projects where you can have like 40 percentage of all stakers are like invested for 15 years this is this is insane this is really incredible numbers uh so thanks again for coming i'm wishing you good luck with your project that you can reach your goals in one five years 15 years right and that you will reach unicorn status really uh, very and very soon uh, meanwhile thanks for watching this video and yes uh, don't forget to subscribe to btc tv youtube channel and see you in the next one thank you